Hey, so I obviously like that face tattoo from my last video so much. I thought I'd do a whole video about it. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. I know it can get uh, monotonous when you're stuck inside for so long. So I hope these videos are a fun way to help keep your mind off things. And on that note, uh, I should probably stop talking about this. I'm not quite sure what these hypothetical circuitry things would do besides maybe connect my brain to a better brain. Maybe in the future, Skillshare will have some feature like that where you can just directly download. Yeah, you guessed it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and they're giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand of my subscribers that click the link in the description. Computer, studio lights on. I like three things. Futurism, comedy, and filmmaking. And PD Scotch, four things. That's why I do my series Knee of the Curve, because it's got all of those things. So in my last one, I had a video where it was a cyborg me in the future talking about how in the future we don't have buttholes anymore. Remember when our bodies weren't 100% efficient? Ugh, we were barbarians back then. Disgusting. Bartender, two more fetal stem cell coolers. Cheers. Back in January, I did a short film where Elon Musk gives an old me some secret tech to make me a young me. And in case you don't know what I do when I'm not making YouTube videos, I work in advertising making ads like this. And before that, I was making videos like this for Vine. That is a VFX video that, yeah, my dog cannot twerk. Uh, you know Puff Daddy actually stole that and put it on his Instagram page? That's a whole other video. Let's get into the tutorial. If you need to get up to speed on After Effects basics, Skillshare has a class that teaches you literally everything you need to know in two hours. Two hours! Learning on Skillshare is better than searching around for the right tutorial on YouTube for one, because you don't have to sit through an ad for Skillshare when you're taking a class on Skillshare. Twenties of thousands of different types of skills to learn, a bunch of creative stuff. The creative stuff being the last thing the robots and AI will be able to take away from us. And they help you work from home. And two free months. Ad done, let's edit. Okay, let's first take a look at what we're going to be making. Remember when our bodies weren't 100% efficient? Ugh, we were barbarians back then. Disgusting. Bartender, two more fetal stem cell coolers. Cheers. Okay, so the audio's not great there, but that's not what we're, what we're after here. We are after the way the tattoo really morphs with the skin. That is what we're after here. That is what really sells the effect that this is a tattoo. It's it's circuitry inside the face. In order to do this, we've got to use this plugin called Lockdown. And this is something you can get on AE Scripts. This video is not sponsored by Lockdown or AE Scripts. And this is quite an expensive uh, <laughs> plugin. Here's a quick uh, video of what, of what it can accomplish. Introducing Lockdown, a new plugin from AEScripts.com that lets you track warping surfaces and after effects. There are endless possibilities. So pretty impressive stuff. Okay, so I've already created a comp here with my footage. The first thing I wanna do is go up and just uh, 
put this lock down onto the clip. The cool thing about lockdown here is that it actually, right there in the plugin, it tells you step-by-step step exactly how to do it. First step is pre-compose. All right, so now that we're in, you can put in the optional tracking filter and that will just put this really high contrast set of filters. I'm not gonna do that for this because I've found that it actually works pretty well without it, but um, you can play around with this if, uh, if you're having trouble with the track. And it's set to accurate as default, but uh, the actual most accurate way to do this is through the connected vectors. I was using just accurate because it's the default, and uh, man, I was I was just so incredibly angry because I had a deadline and I couldn't figure it out, and it wasn't giving me a good track. And I eventually ended up doing this whole shot in the accurate setting, but it was very tough. So now that I've had a chance to figure out lockdown a little more, I've realized that the uh, the connected vectors setting is just way better. So what you do is you just come here to connected vectors, uh, leave all these settings the same, you go uh, full vector setup, it'll take you to your render queue and what it's doing is creating an EXR pass, which is just another comp that it's going to use for the information to do your track. This does take quite a while. I think it's something like five seconds to a minute for every frame of footage. Luckily, my footage was only 1080p, so for this like 300 some frames, it actually took about a half hour. But once that EXR is done and in there, everything is super speedy. So now it's all rendered and it's back in the project. Before we go and make our points and all that, what we need to do is click on this clip, find it in the composition and go interpret footage main go to color management and you've got to press preserve rgb otherwise the tracking of the points will not work all right so now we've got to go draw our points uh we've got to have our clip selected and lockdown selected and then you can command drag to get all of your most of your points on there and then to add additional points it's just a command click and to get rid of points, it's an alt click. So I wanted a little more detail over here because this is where my tattoo is gonna go. All right, so now that we've got our tracking marks, it's time to track. Press to track points. Now it's using this EXR pass to track 300 frames. You'd think that I'd have to go make a sandwich or something to uh, wait for this, but it's actually almost done. That's how fast this is. And it's tracking all those points on my face. Uh, pretty impressive, and it's done. So now you can see that ugh, we were barbarians back. Yeah, we were. Um, turn that off, and you can see that those tracking marks are pretty locked in. That's looking real nice. Look at that. So these points all look like they're stuck on really great but what can happen is sometimes a point will kind of lose its way and you'll need to either delete it with an alt click an alt click deletes it completely as a track point but you can also highlight it and come over here and press delete forward keyframes or delete backward keyframes and this will just delete the keyframes in front or in back of it and if you do that, you're gonna to wanna to come over to interpolate partial tracks. Uh, and then that will fill in the tracking data for that deleted point based on all the points around it. But now that we've got all the points looking great, we need to go to the first frame and click auto triangulate mesh. Then we just need to apply mesh to that frame and press lockdown. Now our clip is locked down. And if we go into this stabilized comp, we can see if we scrub through, the footage looks kind of weird. It's been morphed. Uh, and that's just what lockdown does so that you can, oh, that's, that's attractive. So that you can paint on this image and it will morph your paint so that it looks correct on your original comp. So in order to create this 
effect of these circuits. I just got some uh, stock footage of circuitry animation. So I'm just gonna drag that down. In order to make this be able to uh, work, I'm gonna have to first invert it, and then I'm going to need to uh, throw a tint on it uh, so that I can darken the black and make the white uh, just a little bit blue and then uh, hit it with some uh, contrast. So we set the transfer mode to screen and just place this over my face. And if you just come back into the original comp, you can see that it's already tracked on really nicely to my face. It, it definitely needs some work, but you can see that uh, it's doing pretty much what it's supposed to do. And now we just need to go back into the stabilize comp and finish fine tuning it until it looks great. So I'm just gonna speed through me making this mask fit uh, the shape that I want it to be on my face. If you come back into the original comp, you will see this border that shows up and that's real easy to fix. All you do is grab a matte choker and throw it on there. And if it doesn't take care of everything, you can uh, just mess with the settings until it fixes it for me. It was just uh, add a couple of iterations, scrub through, make sure it's gone and we're good to go. I'm going to fix up the mask uh, so the circuits don't go over my eye or my eyebrow or my beard. And then I'm going to uh, lower the opacity a bit and add just a little bit of a blur because uh, my footage is far away and uh, this circuitry seems to be a little bit higher definition than my face there. Should have shot in 4K. And, you know, there you have it. I think it looks great. I wanted it to be sort of subtle and uh, look like it's under the skin and something that a person would really maybe have on their face. Uh, and so I think this really did it. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. And it was a super easy effect to do with lockdown. Um, this would be impossible. I mean, this level of fine detail uh, of tracking and morphing on the skin. I mean, this would be impossible without a much bigger program, like maybe Mocha, I don't know, but um, this was fairly simple, straightforward and quick with lockdown. So yeah, it's an expensive plugin at 250, but it's pretty powerful. So I'm happy to have it. In order to make the rest of the shot look great, there was um, some green screen keying and I added a background and I blurred the background. I put a little parallax on it and I also with, had a little finishing touch of putting some uh, sci-fi lens flares in there from Video Copilot. So a lot more to this shot than just the face tracking, but I just wanted to do the tutorial on the actual face tracking and face tattoo. Most of that other stuff is a lot more straightforward After Effects stuff than this was. So, but if you want to learn about that stuff as well, uh, just hit me up in the comments and maybe I'll do another tutorial on that. I don't know if this is happening in your neighborhood, but uh, in my neighborhood at eight o'clock, people are just sort of yelling and shouting to say thank you for the frontline workers uh, for what they do the the hospital workers there it goes there it is uh, so in honor of that I just want to say also thank you to you and read some comments <laughs> there it goes someone says uh, the jokes around deaf and Wi-Fi speeds are hilarious. Yeah, those are my favorites as well. Yo, that knee of the curve came so late, it actually made me jump. Yes, I know. I had my intro to the video about five minutes into the video. Uh, I don't know, at some point maybe it'll just be at the end of the video. Uh, Emmett, like the cabin fever beard, still funnier than the bigs. Thank you, that, uh, that means a lot. Technology always wins no matter what the situation. Um, yeah, you know. Ah! Uh, FML, why did I search dirty ATM? <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't search dirty ATM. Dirty's in the name. It says dirty. So uh, don't search, especially in front of your kids. I... <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, that is my latest video. That's on uh, five tech predictions for uh, life after coronavirus. So go check that out. And um, yeah, thanks to the healthcare workers. Anyway, if you like this video, do the like thing, click that, subscribe, share it with somebody. And as always, I will see you in the next one.